Hi guys, I want to show you something that my husband bought me over the weekend. I know I said in my last video I was going to try to utilize some of the journals that I already had here in my home. Well, I was discussing this with my husband and he decided that it would be best for me just to buy a new notebook and begin that way, fresh and clean. So, he chose a mole scheme, like the very first mole scheme that I ever purchased in 2015. This one is a little bit of a paler blue, I do believe. And another thing I've noticed that is different from this one is that now it is added onto the label Classic Collection. This is a soft cover mole scheme um, with the elastic closure. And I will show you the inside. It is a dotted notebook with 192 pages. It is five by eight and a quarter inches with an expandable inner pocket. Here's the inside with the Mole Scheme logo on the inner cover. And they have on the next page, in case of loss, please return to as a reward I never fill this out because I keep these books at home, but if you keep your book in your bag, it would probably be a good idea to use this. Just please don't put your address. And this is the next page. Moleskine does not provide um, a ready-made index. Moleskine does not number pages. But I like that. For what I am using this particular notebook for, it will be perfect. The paper is an ivory color. It is a little thin as compared to some of the other paper that I have had in different notebooks, but that also is fine. I read in the reviews that there was some ghosting, but that's not an issue for me. I don't really care too much about ghosting. If it's too much because I do write with a very heavy hand, if it is too much ghosting, I will put a positive affirmation card or a picture that I have cut out of something or a picture of you know my husband or my family and you know glue it in there and not worry about it but this one that won't even be an issue at all it does come with a ribbon bookmark as you can see I did read online where it said that if you buy a mole scheme and the ribbon bookmark is already beginning to fray at the end that you could possibly have gotten a fake and that you should contact that seller. But as you see, mine is fine. But if you have had that happen in the past, I've never heard of it before and cannot verify. It's just a heads up in the event of because a lot of us spend a lot of money on these. And the expandable pocket in the back. This is the history of Moleskine. It comes with every one. Now then, what I do with the expandable pocket... I put pictures, notes I've written to myself, things of that nature. Sometimes it gets bulky and I move them out, go through them. But it's kind of a catch-all for each month of little bits and pieces. Now, one thing about Moleskine that I didn't like, but this time it's not really going to matter, is that the dots are, they're, they're kind of pale. They're light as compared to some of the other notebooks. And I will show you examples. This is Moleskine that we're looking at. Now then, the book I have on top is the Red Company notebook that I have previewed on my channel already. They come, it comes with an index and it does come with page numbers. But if you can see, here's the dots. And I can barely make it focus. They're so pale as compared to Moleskine. Do you see the difference? This book I basically turned into nothing but like, you know, basic brain dump because the dots are so faint and it really, I don't like it. But if you enjoy very faint so it looks like there's nothing on your page, the Red Company Notebook would definitely be for you. This is the Exceed.Grid Notebook that I have got an ink on the cover and that I have um, shown on this channel a comparison between well it's not a comparison it was a side by side of two of these that I had purchased this one and a lovely turquoise blue 
These are hardcover. They come from Walmart. Now let's look at the dots. Now then, as you can see, this is the Exceed on top and the Moleskine on the bottom. I'm going to try to focus. They are very comparable. Now that I know this, if I need a hardcover dot journal and I don't worry about having index or page numbers, you can get the Exceed at Walmart for less than $7.00. They, it is definitely comparable, the dots and the paper in the Exceed seems to be a little bit thicker than the Moleskine, but I was specifically looking for soft cover. This is always a very good, the Exceed is a great alternative if you don't want to spend a lot of money on bullet journal type notebooks, and a lot of people don't. I mean, they just don't. Next is my Scribbles That Matter, and this is an older edition of Scribbles That Matter because as you can see at the top, mine has the little skull. Now it's been replaced with a little hedgehog, and you can actually get these now with absolutely no designs on them at all. But I fell in love with the emerald green. I had wonderful plans for this um, particular bullet journal uh, slash diary. Just, you know, brain dump. It was going to be basically kind of like a an all type of of journal but this was the year that my father passed away and one of the last things that I had written an entry I will share with you because y'all are my loyal and wonderful friends that I love so dearly was um, that I fucking hated cancer and the very next day he passed away from cancer so it's kind of hard to even open this one but I will show you the dots to compare them to the moleskine also this is hardcover i don't know if scribbles makes a soft cover because i have not checked um it comes with two uh ribbons it does have an index and the page the numbers are paged and they have a pen tape pen test page in the back which is really cool but we're to compare dots so here we go scribbles that matter is a great book it's numbered it also has a page in the front that's called the key it also has as i said the index and it has the pen test page which is great scribbles that matter is a really a great book when i just looked through this i've only used i think four pages in this book i can cover those pages like i said positive affirmation cards any type of decoration and i may actually start using this because, you know, I paid $20 for it. But here's the dots on scribbles that matter. Now, the page, the thickness of the pages. Yeah, it's a lot thicker, scribbles that matter. But like I said, for what I needed, I wanted soft cover. And it doesn't really matter about page thickness. And the dots are a little darker in scribbles that matter to me looking through my glasses and it could be that the page color is a little brighter in scribbles yeah let's see yeah so that's the difference in the dots there this is my loistrom 1917 in red this is hard bound we all know and love loistrom and i don't even have to go into detail about it i just want to compare the dots now, as we all know, Loistrom is a fabulous notebook, but I'm going to tell you the paper in this particular Loistrom is comparable to the Moleskine, the thickness. It is comparable. It really is. Now then, and since I needed soft cover, you know, I went with Moleskine after the fact I found out that Loistrom had soft cover as well, but Loistrom is higher than Moleskine. I believe that they have made their dots a little darker. Because these dots are comparable as well. I think I need to go to the closet and get my old moleskin out. The very first one I ever had. And let's compare those dots. The one you see on top is my old moleskin. Something that I noticed is that the ribbon in the new one, which is the smaller one, it's actually smaller. And they are a different color. The ribbons are. I really don't see a different color in the cover. But let's check the dots. You know, they really look about the same. I think the new one might be a little bit brighter. 
the reviews on Amazon for the classic was like, oh, the paper's terrible. I don't know what you people are talking about if you say you've been buying them for years and that the paper is terrible because it's the same paper. It's the exact same paper. But I do believe that the dots in the new, the classic, are a little bit better than the dots here. I don't know why I think so. Maybe the color of the paper is a little different. I don't know. It just looks different to me. Anyway, and also I found this in my closet as well. This is an extra large moleskin that I bought in khaki. And I don't know when I bought it. I think 2016. I don't remember. I don't even remember what plans I had for it. But let's compare the dots. I'm a dot snob, by the way. I love dot grid, but it's got to be a specific way. I know, it's pathetic, really. This is the newer one, and this is the older, because the older is bigger. I'll put the newer on top. And the dots definitely look darker to me in the newer one than in the older one. If they don't to you, just, you know, you can let me know, but they do look a little bit different to me. So... So the dots have changed, it seems. Let me see what the label says on this one. I, I saved the labels. I know, I'm weird. Okay, when I bought this one, they had not started their classic collection, I believe it was called. And it just says soft cover. So, yeah, but this is a really big moleskin. And I don't even remember what the plans were that I had for it. It's extra large, but there it is. I found it, and that's good. Now, as you know, this little moleskin was bought so that I could use it for the 365 questions um, that I discussed in my previous video. One thing that I did notice about the 365 questions, if you use the ones for last year, they'll be a little bit off because, like I say, it is for last year and days change. And I'm not going to pay someone's Patreon for journal prompts when the question is what are your plans for the upcoming week was today's question and tomorrow's question would be how was your week so you know the days are off but you can always tweak that you can tweak that totally tweak that and it'll still be just fine it's just you know how much you're willing to spend and evidently I was willing to spend you know $15 to get this little moleskin, but I really do like it. I swear they look like the same color, but they're not. Now that I see them like this, they totally are not the same. Let me move that. They are totally not the same color. I told him I thought they were, but they're not. The original one that I have here, my very first moleskin is a lot darker. Let me pan way back. Than the new one. This is the oldest one, and that's the newest one. So... Yeah, I just wanted to show you the difference in the dots in the moleskins, really. And I wanted to show you that I do have a terrible problem with spending. <laughs> and that I am going to be using a moleskin for my 360 days, 365 days of questions and answers and the journal prompts that I found. So, with that being said, I hope this video found you all very happy and healthy. And I will speak with you guys again really soon. And... I hope you found something to do in 2019 to improve your life. Anything that you can do to improve your life, even if it is not looking for drama when there's no reason to look, if it's being nice to your neighbor even though they are a real jerk, or if it's just giving your husband the heart out of your cinnamon roll because you love him that much be nice to someone today love you guys bye for now